this Cartman? Yes, sir, this is. How may I help you today? Well, Cartman, this is your lovely package. Oh my gosh, been waiting for these for a while. Thank you. Of course. Awesome. In front of fire kill. Great service. Have a great day. You too. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Finally, I got these front shocks in. I can get rid of this POS Chinese crap. Go with RFY air shocks. Oh yeah. We have these RFY air shocks in. We're going to use them to replace the front shocks on the fire kill. POS. Marcus, would you like to explain what a POS is? Piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's why we have bought some better air shocks. Right here, we have our beautiful RFY air shocks. I'll explain everything in the package here. So first of all, we have these. These are your uh, adjustment, adjusters, adjusting tools, thinking about bobbers. You use these to tighten or loosen the uh, springs on the shocks. These are the ends of the shock. So these are little tire rod ends. They, they go on the end of the shock. These are bushings of different sizes. If you need to replace these with bigger bushings Wait a minute. for a smaller bolt size and what these are. Pull these shocks out of the package. Beautiful air shocks. Juan Targa bought the same ones for his cart. So you see here's one of them right here. They're going to go up front. They're uh, 17.32 inches long. And you take this, set up, you take this, pull that down. In my case, we have pretty small bolts. So we're actually going to remove these bushings and put the other ones in. Okay, so actually the bushings, this is super cool. The bushings go in. If you take the other bushing, you can push, uh, push this bushing out with the other bushing. I'll show Thank you Thank you for demonstrating my idioticness, Juan Targa. I know, isn't that cool? You're just going to push it over like so. <laughs> and we have our new bushing installed. I just use the ground in that case. And then you do the same with the top of the shock, only use something to put the uh, bushing on. All right, let's mount these new shocks. Check this out, guys. Old shocks. New shocks. I think we know which one's better. In fact, we know what happens to these shocks after a, a year or two. They, uh, they bend. So we've made some progress since the last check-in. For one, we've hooked up the horns. We've put a little pull-type switch right there, just like a motorcycle brake switch. So when you pull this, beautiful. You do not know how loud that is. It's probably gonna cut out all the other audio. <laughs> and it's 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 super loud. It's, it's beautiful, really. He's, <laughs> he scared me like six times in a row because of that thing and I hate it. <laughs> This we use as a helmet rack. I'm gonna round it off. That was and my, that, was my genius. that was Ben's idea. We have to credit him. Yes. Great idea. We've also put a little cargo rack right here. I think it's a pretty good idea. This is old man's idea. And uh, I think it's gonna work pretty well. And then we are now installing an underglow kit. Only it's not gonna be used as underglow because we have a strip running on the inside of the roll cage. We have a strip running so, up through the underneath of the dashboard here more than anything it's it's more like an interior decoration kit and then we have fender lights so you can see these come up here along the fender and they light the engine bay just a little bit but basically lighten up the rear tires we will have much better decorated vehicle with a truck horn i just i can't get over how beautiful this is oh you scared me again how dare you all right never gonna get used to that <laughs>
Right, the camping trip's coming up very soon. We don't have much time. We got we got two days. We're going to fix the fenders because these fenders are flopping around and broken, both of them. And then we're working on the tote goat and the kill reaper. So we have a lot to do. So I have two light bars here for the fire kill. They're gonna go up on the top left and top right corners of the roll cage. 14 inch combo spot slash flood light bar here. Uh, these are Road Shock brand. Uh, they're from Harbor Freight. pretty much do for this episode stay tuned for a future episode where we're going to take this cart out on the mountains for a three-night camping trip so stay tuned for that till then this is cartman productions peace out so why do you have so many oil things because i use a lot of oil did you say that you're very <clears throat> lubricated it's all the dirty jokes no no no, no, no. that was the actual mechanic joke you not get it? I get it. That's your single. <clears throat> what are you getting? That was a dirty joke. Beautiful. <laughs> May I help you, sir? <laughs> this is Carbag? Yes, this is. You, you, <laughs> what did you say at the end there? What the crap? <laughs> You like that? I didn't hear it. I, said, I heard to your book. I said, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I promise you, you'll laugh at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, I'm not taking it out of context. Context is taking it out of me. So, Cartman, didn't we used to have a president named Bush? Yes. No mm -hmm. convenience. It's from China. It has something called a Bush ing. I mean, Illuminati confirmed. Now, if the seller's name is, uh, George. Might have to look into it. A little bit, uh, <laughs> stubborn. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna Right, Mark, you see your personal experience, don't you? <laughs> I walk this lonely road, the only road that's not made in China, you know. Actually, that's incorrect. He shot the straight from that place, I would know. Get wrecked. Quan Targa. Yeah, that's technically Asian. That's all right. Because I'm gonna work on this thing all night.
And then Ben, of course, we got him slaving away at this. I'm so. A slave. I probably shouldn't say that. All the garage doors open. <laughs> we don't want to call Child Protective Services. What's this? Pull it. No. Pull it. No. <laughs> no.